Hi, how you doing? Um, I just wanted to share an experience. Um, I mentioned that I was like the ultimate Van Halen fan back in the day, that everybody liked Van Halen, but I, I liked him even more than other people, it seemed. Um, it just had Eddie Van Halen pictures all over and, and dressed like Eddie Van Halen and just like had my guitar taped up like Eddie Van Halen and and I uh, wrote the Van Halen symbol on everything and just uh, was just a huge fan. Um, uh, this isn't the only time I've seen him in concert, but there was one concert that was really special. It was uh, the Monsters of Rock. I'm from Southern California, so it was in the L.A. Coliseum. And uh, so the Van Halen's Monsters of Rock, um, it was uh, it, uh, Kingdom Come opened, then, Metall then it was Metallica. Then Dawkin, I think, then Scorpions, then Van Halen. And um, so the first band was Kingdom Come, and, and everybody was just, you know, get, getting <laughs> situated and things like that kind of during Kingdom Come and, and listening. And it was just, they were just kind of like the music of everything because everybody's getting in ready for a full, full day concert thing, you know? And, um, then the second band, Metallica, now it's really going because, like, a lot of the people were there for Metallica, you know, like, mostly, you know. I mean, not, not most of the people. Most of the people were there for Van Halen, but most, you should, yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that. But um, during Metallica, something really uh, important happened. Everybody just started moshing like crazy. Everybody just went berserk right near the stage in the whole area. And they were, they were hauling. I saw a bouncer like run and chase this guy and grabbed him around around the arms and fell on top of him on the ground. You know, and they hauled him off on a stretcher. They were hauling people off on stretchers. People were hurt. It was like this huge thing. Then, then the fans started getting the fold-up chairs and throwing them on the stage. And just it was just got completely out of control. And so they stopped the concert and said, whoa, you know, no music's worth getting hurt over. From now on, you know, the security officers out there, you know, anybody can go anywhere they want. Don't stop anyone from going anywhere that they want. <laughs> <laughs> so they changed the rules. So me and my friend, we we're like Beavis and Butthead always together. We like looked at each other and said, yeah. So we went down and just like little bits at a time, you know, worked our way through people, you know. And, you know, people were like moshing and stuff and got up until during Metallica, I could only get so close to the stage. It was still pretty wild. And then uh, the next band was Dawkin. In between bands, it slowed down a lot, and I, I wove my I wove my way all the way up to the very, 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 very front, and just grabbed the the little like wood thing and grabbed the the bar like this, you know, under my armpit, and just held on there when it got tough, you know, to hold me so I'd be right, 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 right at the front. So then the first band was Dawkins, so I was front row for Dawkins, and then Scorpions, and then my favorite band. Van Halen, and I was front row, and, and I had my, this uh, Levi jacket, and I felt like Fair Warning was a very underrated album, so I got the cover of Fair Warning, and I got some uh, paint, and I painted the cover of uh, Fair Warning on the back of my jacket, and then uh, and I took the jacket off when, it, uh, when Eddie Van Halen was going by and held it up in the air so he could see it, you know? And as far as I know, he saw it, you know? It was pretty fun. It was a really uh, awesome concert. I'll never forget it. 